Alright YouTube, the first blower of the season, um, 8 horsepower 26 inch MTD, 26 inch uh, sweep, it's got a good size auger in it, not terribly big, not terribly small, it's just a good size, um, got a 8 horsepower Tecumseh on it, it's, uh, he said it, it's just been sitting, he said it's like it's this is one of those cases where it's you know ten years new. Uh, what I mean by that is it's like brand new. It's like never been used. These are the original tires on it. They're just brand new. Everything's just new about it. It just sat in his dad's garage for like ten years. So it's it's just one of those cases where it's ten years new. So uh, probably will be changing the oil on it because I don't like it. I don't like the oil that's been sitting that long. Plus, it's foaming, which normally isn't the greatest. I'll let that oil warm up. Probably put uh, more of the mixture oil and flush it out. Then put some good, good uh, winter oil in it. 10:30 is uh, what these snowboarders usually like. 10:30 or 10:40. 10:30 normally. Uh, most guys will put just straight 30, which is just fine. I like doing a 10:30 though because. Of course, it's going to be winter. Ten, uh, ten weight, you know, is uh, easier to pull over once it warms up. It's a 30 weight. So, um, but yeah, I'll start it up real quick. Can't start it with pull start because it's it's uh, hard starting. This will be a warm start. It's kind of warm right now. It doesn't like to stay running. Um, I'll probably just flush the uh, gasoline out, take all that old, all the old gasoline, put new gas in, put some Startron in along with it uh, to stabilize the fuel. Let him know that I put Startron in it because it uh, it really stabilizes fuel. I thought I had some Startron in here, but I don't. I was going to show you what I mean. Um, <coughs> yeah, MTD yard machines. Uh, not too bad. A little flimsy around around the edges. That bolt needs to be tightened up. That's why that wiggles. This side doesn't wiggle. Yeah, that side does. Um, so what it needs to be done. Also, it doesn't shift um, very easily. Like it slams into gear. It'll go up just fine. But slams. You know, I know exactly what that is. You know, there's that. Um, there's the two friction discs and the rubber friction disc that runs against the metal friction disc sits on an octagon shaft type of thing and that's just got to be greased up you don't want to put do you want to put a small amount of grease on there so if you put a large amount of grease and it flips just the smallest amount of grease on either friction disc you're screwed <laughs> that's just bad you don't want to do that so um, so that's that's the shifting problem almost 100 percent sure the running problem, uh, he said he's been playing with the, the setting screws, and it just needs to be cleaned out, you know, sitting for like 10 years. There's bound to be gum in that carburetor, so so that'll be uh, one of the next projects. I'll probably just post this video up, let you guys know I'm going to be working on it, and uh, it'll be worked on soon. I might do it today, I might do it tomorrow, I might, uh, you know, do it sometime next week. I got other stuff to do too, so... Hope you have a good one, YouTube. You can tell this thing has not been used. <laughs> All the paint is like brand new in here still. No rust. The skid plates do need to be adjusted, though. As you can tell, these skid plates aren't even touching the ground. And those are supposed to stop this from getting destroyed. So I need to adjust those and get them to the ground. I'll let him know. Um... Usually when somebody brings me something like this, I, I just give them a, a once-over in uh, operating it and maintenance. <laughs> I'll usually tell them, you know, I'll do the maintenance on it if you want me to. But here's a few tips and pointers to keep this thing running correctly, you know. But 
I guess I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye.